The movie is a classic, but Maria von Trapp's 1949 book is nearly forgotten. We're going to look at three things that changed between the book and the movie. The picture is from the story that Trapp Family Singers shows the most obvious difference from the movie. The timeline was collapsed. Maria married the captain many years before their escape. She was pregnant when they left, and you can see her youngest in front of her in 1945. Some of the older kids were well into middle age by then. The second difference between the book and the movie was that the story in The Sound of Music was only about the first third of the book. The rest of it took place in the U.S. It was about the family on tour and giving concerts. Now the first movies about the traps were made in West Germany in 1956 and 1958. The sequel was about their life in the U.S. Finally, the last and biggest change in The Sound of Music showed up in the play and went from there. None of the Trap family music was in the play or the movie. Originally, they sang Catholic hymns and traditional German language music. You can hear some of it in the West German movies, but none of it is in the one that became a hit. It's strange that this biography of a musical family didn't feature their music, but that's Broadway and that's Hollywood. Also, this was a work in progress. Edelweiss isn't on the original Broadway soundtrack, but it was written for the play in 1961. Other songs were eliminated along the way. There are more differences, but these are the three I had time for. If you know of more, put them in the comments below.